Hi, I'm Will Donna. Welcome to Will's Crafts. Thanks for coming back to watch our videos. Today we're going to make a salt shaker angel. And last time at the end of the video, I told you there's a special story about me and salt shakers. And here it is. My grandmother collected salt and pepper shakers. And when she passed away, my mother took the collection. And by the time my mother retired and moved into a small home and couldn't keep them anymore, there were 1,500 pair. 15, that's 1,500 if you're math challenged like me. My mother divided all of her salt and pepper shakers between us five kids. That meant that I got 300 pair. Then I kept collecting. And by the time I retired and moved into a small place, there were almost 500 pair of my own. <laughs> so there's my salt and pepper shaker story. We're going to show you some of them right now. I brought a few sets for you to see of the many that I had. Um, here's a little house in an outhouse for your salt and pepper. I'm not quite sure what you put in where. And over here we have a little teapot and teacup. Um, very into teacups and teapots and all of that tea stuff. So this set is very special to me. And it's also Christmas design. And then this little guy is President John Kennedy. And uh, if you know his history, you know that he always set in a rocking chair in his office um, because he had severe back problems from Navy injuries. And uh, I bought this set for my mom um, the day after he was assassinated. And um, I think that was 1968, 60, oh, I shouldn't ask you. Um, and you can't see the price probably, but I can see it. It was 15 cents. Uh, you can't buy anything for 15 cents nowadays, and especially an antique that's about John Kennedy. So that's just a few sets just to show you that I really do love salt and pepper shakers. Today we're going to be making this salt shaker angel. I saw these during Christmas time and wanted to make them really badly, but as you know, I was busy making gnomes. So today, in January, we're going to make our angels. You know, angels are for all year long, not just for Christmas. So, let's get started. To do this craft, you will need a clear salt and pepper shaker, some lace, a boa, some snowflakes, some some kind of um, embellishment, these snowflakes or flower or grandma's old brooch, some gems, some inch and a half styrofoam, or you can use a little um, Christmas ornament, some paper doilies, and some sort of ribbon or cord to put around the hat. The tools you'll need for this craft are your hot glue gun, um, a pan or paper plate to set it in to keep glue off your table, a cardboard or newspaper or something to protect your table, some scissors, my trusty skewers that I use for keeping my fingers out of the glue, and some glue sticks. First thing you do is take the lid off of your salt and pepper shaker. That's going to be your hat or your halo, whichever you prefer to call it. And the first, the next thing I want to do today is to measure the feather boa. How much do we need? And cut it off. I know some of you are going to yell because this is a shame to cut a feather boa, but there you go. Did it. 
and we're going to get that off the table because, <laughs> as you can probably see, it's going to leave its feathers everywhere. And we'll set that aside. We're going to fill our little snow angel here with some of this snowflakes. I'm going to try to do this without a funnel. See how well I do. But who cares? I can always clean up later, right? I don't fill it all the way. But about two-thirds of the way. Good job. That I didn't get too much on the table. Okay, next step is to make sure your glue gun is working and put a rim of glue around the top of the salt shaker pretty much of it on there and then you're going to put the head on. Ta-da! Your angel has a head. Then I'm going to decide what which is my front and which is my back. There's a big blob of glue that's why I'm making this the back. And put your feather boa on. Make sure how you're going to have it. And then I'm going to have to put some glue around that, around the neck, that will hold the feather boa in place. Now what I'm going to do is put this feather boa on and cross it in the front. I'm going to hold it just a second here to make sure it's going to stay on. Ah, it's not. Okay, live TV folks. Live craft videos. Yeah, can you hear the kids playing outside? They're not my kids, they're the neighbors. Um, all right. One more glob of glue for this end. How about just putting the glue on there and then sticking it? <laughs> da, 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 da. We have to, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to sing that song. Um, have to hold it a little bit to get it to stay okay now your angel is just covered and then this month I'm gonna this time when I'm making this I am going to put a I'm gonna put a heart gem on the front so it's like a pin, a brooch at her collar. Wow, lady. You know what? There's a lot of static in this room today. Because <laughs> this usually doesn't stick up quite this much. And I'm going to place a... You know what? I'm going to lay her down so we can both see her. Oh, lady. Your fuzzy neck is all over your face. I'm going to put some glue and put the brooch right at the base of her neck. Oh, pretty. Okay, now we need to Now we need to work on our hat. You can see from my sample 
And if you've um, seen any of my other craft videos, you know I like to put my hat a little to the side. So I'm going to first decorate this hat. And today I'm going to just put some ribbon. Need another glue gun here. I'm going to glue stick. I'm getting running out fast on this craft today but I'm just going to put a little glue on the hat and take some this is a shiny like an iridescent ribbon I think it'll look pretty on her white it looks sort of like snowflakes actually and I'm just going to put that keep going around the hat until I get <laughs> okay, did you just see my glue stick fall out of the glue gun there? That's how some things happen. Okay, now we're going to continue with the glue. And continue wrapping the ribbon around the hat. Try to get it straight. <coughs> For some reason, this glue stick does not want to stay in this glue gun today. I don't know why. It's National Glue Gun Be Obstinate Day. Did you know that? Okay, now we got it all the way around. And we can clip it off. Gonna trim that ribbon off just a little bit so it's not sticking out. <clears throat> and then I want to put something on her hat. I think that snowflake might be just a little bit too big for her hat. So I'm gonna use a couple of these little um they're like a faux leather <laughs> flower. Um I might just put one, or I'm, I'm wanting to put two, so let's see how that works. I'm going to put it right where the seam is, so then I know that never will the seam be in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some glue. And I think what I want to do is offset these. So I want one of them up higher. I'm going to stick it down with my stick instead of my finger. Now the stick is not going to come off there. Okay, and then we'll put the other flower down a little bit. I think that looks good. Okay, and then at this point, if you want to, you can put a little lace around her. Actually, you could leave the boa off, put lace. You can do a lot of different things, whatever you want, so that it looks like a little robe, little skirt, but I'm going to leave it off. I like to be able to see that snow that I've got inside of there. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do is put her hat on. Oh yeah, look. Cute. You know, my producer is telling me she sort of looks like Mae West. Mae West, do you remember her? My, She's actually my hero. Mae West said, sometimes, oh, when I'm good, I'm very good, but when I'm bad, I'm better. <clears throat> yeah, you remember. Okay, how's she look? Oh, look, she's cute. I think she's cute. And then, now you could leave her like this and she could be a nice Mae West snow salt shaker woman. 
uh, sitting on your table or your desk. Um, actually, don't put these on the kitchen table because people try to use the snowflakes for salt. If, yeah, no, probably your friends aren't that dumb. But we're going to make wings for her, and to make the wings is really easy. This is a regular, everyday uh, paper doily that you would use with your teacups or um, whatever you do with paper doilies. <clears throat> I'm trying not to really fold it. I don't really want to crease. Uh, my sample has been around a while and her wings have gotten creased. I don't really want them that way, so I might have to replace her wings. Can you replace an angel's wings? I don't know. We'll find out when we get to heaven. Okay, so all we're going to do is fold this down, and I've offset it a little bit so it looks like two rows instead of one. And then I'm going to just give it a slight crease down the middle so that we know that there are two wings, not just one. Then we put some glue down the crease. Probably don't need it all the way down because I think the wings are longer than her body. I'm going to lay her down and attach her wings. So easy. I bet you have every item you need for this craft at home already. And there she is. A May West. <laughs> she, you could even use her for a Valentine's decoration or a gift to somebody. That you just want to say I love you too. Uh, some people will uh, put eyes and no carrot nose and a mouth and make that a little snowman but I like mine just with the blank face. Maybe that's because the Amish used to make their dolls without faces. So now you have your very own salt shaker angel if you've been making along with us. You could uh, put different clothes on her. You could even make her a man. Do whatever you want. You can use gems. You can use grandma's old brooch. Whatever you like. But if you do make an angel, post a picture below so that we can all see the angel that you made. Thank you for coming to Will's Crafts today. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back again next month when the craft is a surprise. So until next time, leave a comment below. And if you made some of our crafts or even crafts of your own, show us in a picture below. Thanks again.